joining us today. We are going to draw a sea turtle, and turtle starts with the letter T, T and it makes the t t t, t t t sound, right? So this will be fun. You can use anything you have at home. You can use markers, colored pencils, paint, pastels, crayons, um, anything chalk. really, chalk too. And first we like to always start off with saying something that we're grateful for. I am grateful for um, the ability to be home with my family and that we are all healthy and happy. So thank you. What are you grateful for? I am grateful for um, the new kite that my mom got us, I think, a week ago or two. Those were fun, huh? Mm -hmm. Flying a kite on a windy day is some a fun activity and we enjoy. I'm grateful for, um, for flowers. For flowers, nice. Well, you know, we are going to be doing something really fun today, the and, sea turtle. And, and I just looked around our house right now, and I and it's really funny that the, that I, I wanted to say flowers because I saw it in our picture, and right next to that flower picture is the, the animal we just did, see? Oh, yeah, it looks like it, huh? Yeah. Does that look like a swan? It's actually a pelican, but it is a bird with a long beak. And, it, and it's basically a swan. And it lives near the water. So we are going to go ahead and draw our sea turtle. We're going to start off with the whole body, okay? So the body is almost like a raindrop. So it's boxy at the top where the shoulders are, and then it gets narrower towards the bottom. And I'll go ahead and we can start with that. So we're going to do a straight line across at a diagonal on our paper because he's going to be swimming at a diagonal. Then we're going to do um, a C shape, but a, a little C shape, and it's going to go all the way down and come back up again, like a U almost, or a V. Now we're going to go ahead and do his head. His head is like a small little hill. And now his uh, front leg, which we're going to go a V shape coming out of the shoulder. So an upside down V shape. And come down long. And then right below it, this is going to be the bottom of his shoulder. We're going to do kind of like a upside down U shape and connect. We're going to do that with the other side. It's almost like a hill. We're going to come in and go down again and then we'll do the legs or the bottom part of the turtle. So we'll come out on both sides, kind of like an arch. And then when we're coming in, it's like a little back fin, right? <coughs> Bless you, Kai. Thank you. So there we have our turtle's body. And now we're going to work on his shell. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace the inside of the shell with another line. How are you guys doing over there? Good. Good. And then in the middle of the shell is where I'm going to start off with the shape. Whatever shape you want. You can put a heart in there. You can put a diamond. Whatever shape you want. And then from there you're going to just do some boxes all around it. And on every shell there's a new design. You're right. Every shell is super unique. And super different. Yeah. Always. And did you know there's, there's never, there's never ever the exact same shell on turtles? Is it like a fingerprint for people? Yeah. Maybe. It is. And then around the border of it, I'm going to put the lines. In between the two parallel lines, right? And then I'm going to do two eyes, which are just going to be dots. So you can make them um, character looking or simple dots like mine. Now they're turning a little bit more because I made a mistake. And mistakes happen in art. I just got to work with it and hopefully fix it or modify it or change it so it looks like something you want. And then um, this is a sea turtle, lives in the ocean. So there's some seaweed and there's going to be some coral and maybe some fish moving around. 
And sea turtles, I learned, are, um, so I just did a raindrop and then a triangle for that, this particular fish with some lines in the tail and a triangle on its head. Okay, I'm just going to do the sea troll this time. I'm not going to do anything in the background. Okay. Fine. And then um, for seaweed, I'm going to go up. Brown, 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 brown. Kind of like a swirly shape. Not a swirl, but um, a curved line. And then trace it back down the same way. And I like to work in groups of three for art. So I'm going to do three pieces of seaweed. There. I made a dark, 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 dark sea like he's swimming on the bottom of the ocean. Ooh, look at that. Kalani used jump? chalk today. Kalani used chalk for his. The midnight zone? Yeah. Ooh, the midnight zone. Yeah, that's where a lot of fluorescence. Yeah, things are black there too. Mm -hmm. So turtles we learned. It's like a part of the, and I don't really got the part of the name of it, but in the ocean there's like, a huge crack, and, and it's like the part of the ocean that never ends, huh? It's it's a deep part of the ocean in the world. I think it's called the Mariana Trench or something. Yeah. And I think and and I think it's about like I think I remember someone saying it's about two thousand feet um um tall from deep. from yeah from the top of the crack. I think what this is giving us is an opportunity to look some information up and to find out some interesting science and earth facts. Okay. Um, I think so I'll go ahead and just color mine with uh, seaweed or with um, blue because he's in the ocean. And then, oh, look at your turtle, so cute. Look at the sea turtle. I love it, Kai. Nice sea turtle. Thank you. I like that yours has a smiley face. Oops, there goes the dripping. That happens sometimes. You know, there's actually one turtle in the world that people actually have discovered that has that has an actual um, an actual shell with no um, with no markings on it. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. That would be. Kind of beautiful. There is so one. turtles are reptiles, they right? Eat plants. And yes, they eat plants. They're herbivores, right? Mm -hmm. Their shells are olivish green color. Mm -hmm. It's to build. It's for them to build in, uh, blend into their surroundings. The bottom of their shell is much lighter than the top of their shell, so that when predators are looking up up. They see lighter colors, so they blend in with the sky. And when predators are looking down, they see darker colors that blends in with the ocean floor and the growth that's down there and the rocks. Um, and we, we learn that they actually live for a very long time too, up to 80 years. And that they get up to five feet and 700 pounds. That's, that's longer than most humans live. Uh, some people. Yeah. Some, some. That's right. Some pe Um. One of. Um. One of the people that. Um. In our family that died. She lived up to. To like. I think. Ninety eight years. About. No. She's about twenty years older than that. Yeah. Could you imagine all the things a sea turtle gets to see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like humans. It would huh? be hard to remember everything. Just like tutu. 2K lived a very long and healthy life. That's who you're talking about, huh? Mm -hmm. So they live along the coastline, and they can they can stay underwater for up to five hours if they're sleeping without getting I, air. I um, that was I'm interesting. Go out of the video yeah, and watch my five hours. Okay, Kalani, thank you. But yeah. Wow. And then they come back up for air. And they go back down for five hours. They can, yeah. Um, and when they're active, they stay down for um, less amount of time. They have to come back up for air because mm -hmm. they use all their the oxygen up when they're active. Like, like how we pant after we run. <laughs> yeah, because we get, yep, trying to get more air. They like to sunbathe, so sometimes you'll find them on the beach mm -hmm. sunbathing. Yeah, at, like, at like when, when my soccer practices, when we got our last our last practice, mm -hmm. 
Um, we, uh, like, I, a long time ago, like, maybe, I think, two years ago, we, we, um, at, at a park, with, it had a big lake in the middle of it. Yeah, and that was Barney Schwartz. Yeah, Barney Schwartz, and, um, they, Oh, yeah, we shouldn't say the name, should we? Uh-huh. Okay, hey, it's okay. And they have a, um, and they have a, they have, um, ducks and swans and, um, and there's a lot and of fish, and we saw just like all these turtles on, on rocks upside down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sunbathing? Yeah. Yeah, they love to. And they, um. And I think when, when I washed my hands, it just got darker, huh? Mm -hmm. It spreaded more. Yeah, you need to, maybe some more soap would help. Yeah. Uh, and, um. They lay their eggs on land. Mm -hmm. Yep. And what do I the jokes for you? What do turtles use to communicate? What? A shell phone. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one is um, what do you get if you mix a turtle with a giraffe? What? A turtleneck. <laughs> <laughs> What? And what happens when you bring a turtle to a party? What? It's a celebration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too much fun. All right, I'm going to go ahead and paint my little fish right here, and then we are going to say our goodbyes, okay? Well, goodbye for now, and see you tomorrow. And Kalani, can you go on that side to say goodbye? And so they can see you. He was on the other side of here talking with me. All right, can you say bye? Bye! And thank you! Bye.